I hardly even know where to start. So Child Protective Services goes to the home and they say everything is A+. Plus. The baby's body, look at this child, she's three, look at her, stored in the freezer. May they rot in hell. Let me just start with that, Henry. Your turn. That's right. It's a terrible case, Nancy. Right off the bat, this little girl, according to the police, ended up being killed just a day after police went to the apartment and found nothing awry. CPS is telling us we can't tell you what, if anything, we did. We don't think there's anything incorrect in what we have done, but that's not to say that the system failed. You know, uh, out to Dr. Joy Carter, chief forensic pathologist, author of I Speak for the Dead, joining us from California. Dr. Joy, how if they fi find the child on the bed, how did they know she had been stored, her body, a three-year-old child had been stored in the body? And somebody, uh, Matt Zarell from, and Bethany Marshall, remind me to get to the boyfriend. All right, mommy keeping this boyfriend around, I guarantee you he's going to be the one that ultimately killed this child while mommy went along with it. Okay, Dr. Carter, how do you know the child's been in a freezer? Well, they probably checked the body temperature and the, and the body was frozen. And they're going to look at the organs and look for evidence of ice crystals and damage that you get from being in the cold. And probably also looking at the scene, looking at the suitcase, looking at that room, and looking at how cold does affect the body and whether or not it would decompose at the same rate. To Trisha Goyer, blogger, author, and family advocate, Trisha, it, it's, it's driving me crazy thinking about what this child went through before it was discovered. Her own mother stored her in the freezer. You know, it just breaks my heart to know that this child went through this and, and that police had been called and that uh, numerous times they had gone there. And if someone's called, that many times, then we need to keep checking into it. Um, the child should, I think, should have been removed from the home. I have two three-year-olds who we adopted, um, one from the foster care system, and my heart just breaks thinking of what that child went through. And you know what? Sometimes um, we can make a call, but, but we need to be the answer, too. We need to keep calling and keep doing something um, until we know the child is in a safe place.